unveiled U.S. 6th Gen fighter jet shocks the world. It's been a long time waiting. The 6th generation aircrafts have finally been unveiled. The evolution of aircrafts from the last century has led to this technology, and the three countries that have developed the 6th generation aircrafts include China, Russia, Europe, and the US, the three global superpowers. But even among these powerful nations, the US stands as the most developed military power. In this video, we will talk about the US's 6th generation fighter jet, so stay tuned. But before we continue further, I would request you to subscribe to the channel. Thank you! The US, Russia, and China, and Europe have all created their versions of the 6th generation fighter jets. These fighters are designed to meet the needs of the future battlefield, which makes them the deadliest aircrafts in the world. Let's begin with the United States 6th generation aircraft, called the NGAD. The NGAD program stands for the Next Generation Air Dominance and features air superiority fighters which can achieve air dominance in the most challenging theater of operations. Additionally, the NGAD program also includes multi-role fighters which can perform versatile missions while maintaining stealth capabilities. All of the fighters included in the NGAD program will have long-range capabilities with stealth capabilities. It is important to mention that stealth capability is only one generation old. The sixth generation fighter in the NGAD program takes a triangular shape and does not include traditional vertical stabilizers. This is the first aircraft fighter to have these unique features. One of the reasons why vertical stabilizers were needed was to keep the aircraft in the air. That was until active flow control was developed. The active flow control is the same technology which keeps B-52 Spirit airborne. The outcome of using this technology will be an incredibly stealthy aircraft. Perhaps this is the reason why the new B-2 Spirit costs around $2 billion to make, and also why the Congress has allocated a hefty $10 billion for the B-2 Spirit over the decade. The sixth generation air fighter, to retain their stealth, will also carry their weapons in their internal storage. Carrying weapons on external pylons compromises the stealth capabilities of the aircraft, and this is the reason why these 6th generation aircraft have a 70-foot weapons bay located underneath the main fuselage. Additionally, these fighters have the latest sensors that enable it to synthesize information from all units either on ground or in the air. These advanced sensors are capable enough to spot targets, friendly units, and key points of interest in a given terrain from miles away. These sensors also make it possible for these jets to share information data with other fighter units operating in the area. Another advantage of using these cutting-edge sensors is that there is no need to mount radar on the aircraft itself, since it already has electronically configured smart skin, which also gives it network adaptability. The sixth generation aircraft will have an open architecture. This means that the aircraft will have laser weapons, which can take out enemies at an extended range on both the land, the sea, and air. These aircraft can also fire hypersonic missiles, which are a game changer on their own. These missiles have the unique capacity to alter their trajectory unpredictably, which renders missile defense systems useless against them. Additionally, these aircrafts will have AETP engines, which will enable subsonic, transonic, as well as supersonic flights. NGAD aircrafts will also have top-of-the-line electronic warfare countermeasures. The open architecture also means that the aircrafts can rapidly take on new upgrades. The ability to develop and install upgrades at a cheaper price will give it the tendency to adapt to new challenges and put it on par with the competition. This would mean that the 6th generation fighter could be readily upgraded to the next generation which could be in service after 2035. But the NGAD is not the only 6th generation program out there, and in fact, Europe, Russia, and China have their own 6th generation programs in motion. The interesting thing about these programs is that all of these countries are using indigenous technologies. As far as Europe is concerned, there are two separate 6th generation programs in motion. The Future Combat Air System, or FCAS, is being developed by France, Germany, and Spain, while the Tempest program is being developed by Britain, Italy, and Spain. The key point here is that all the Allied countries are working in conjunction in these projects. 
The outcomes of these programs would be a sixth generation aircraft that will have the capability of conducting surveillance over sensitive areas using cutting edge electronic warfare, synthesized data through AI and machine learning, all while maintaining stealth to keep the plane hidden from the prying eyes of radars. All these aircrafts will be powered through a flexible software-driven flight control system, which could bring in updates about environmental changes. This makes the European sixth-generation aircraft an extremely lethal weapon system that is being developed by eight international reputable aviation companies with the overall budget of 15 billion euros. These fighters are expected to be in service sometime in the 2040s. Let's talk about Russia's entry into the sixth-generation aircraft, the MiG-41. The MiG-41 is designed to be a Russian interceptor, which is expected to enter active military service between 2020s and 2030s. Although Russia has not officially given the name of MiG-41 to its newest aircraft, its features have already earned it the prestigious title of MiG. The Russians have designed this aircraft to give it a long-range interception, which gives it the power to take away the element of superiority from their enemy. It is speculated that the Russian 6th generation aircraft will have the latest 30 series engine, which are currently under development. These engines can propel these aircrafts to a speed of Mach 4.3. These aircrafts will be equipped with an anti-missile laser and operate at very long ranges. Due to its unique features, these aircrafts can also be unmanned. There are rumors that these aircrafts would also employ highly advanced electronic warfare countermeasures, which would give it a unique edge amongst its rivals. Russian military expects the MiG-41 to be in service as soon as 2025. This means that the contest between the US and the Russian 6th generation aircraft is set to boil over really soon. How does China fare in this race of developing a 6th generation aircraft? The chief designer of the Chengdu Aerospace Corporation announced their plans to initiate research on a sixth-generation aircraft back in 2019. The Chinese leadership aims to develop its own sixth-generation aircraft in 2035. The Chinese variant will be an improved version of the fifth-generation aircraft, Chengdu J-20. The J-20 is China's most capable fighter jet yet. It also has stealth capabilities, which gives it a smaller radar cross-section. Design-wise, it has elements from F-22 Raptor and other stealth-capable fighter jets. Apart from reducing radar cross-section, the aircraft also uses a radar dome as well as stealth coating to reduce its electromagnetic signature. Supersonic jets improve their stealth capacity to eliminate reflections between the diverter and the aircraft's skin. The J-20 provides a maximum thrust of Mach 2 and a maximum elevation of 66,000 feet the maximum operating range of the 22,000 nautical miles. There are not too many details out of the armaments, which can be fitted on the J-20, but it is safe to assume that it is more than a match for the US F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning Rod II. It is also estimated that J-20 has many series upgrades planned, which will make it as potent as ever on the battlefield. In conclusion, China, Europe, Russia, and the US are planning to develop their own sixth generation aircrafts. Feel free to comment down below about which of these aircrafts do you think will be deemed the most deadly. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Thanks for watching till the end and see you in the next one. Cheers!